Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. Microsoft just launched a brand new version of AutoGen, which is called AutoGen 2.0. We'll see how to set up, download and install AutoGen 2.0 locally onto a system. Then we'll be using it like on a real world scenario. All right, so let's try to install AutoGen Studio from scratch, okay? So for that, I will open this thing up, which is Anaconda PowerShell, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to create a new Conda environment. For that, I could say like Conda create hyphen N, then I could call it as AutoGen, okay? Then Python version we need to specify, and I will say like Python 3.11, okay? So, all right, so we need to confirm it by typing Y on the screen, okay? So, I'll hit enter and it will create an environment for me. So, that's pretty much simple, okay? All right, it's done, okay? So, now next we need to like activate our autogen environment. I'll grab this thing, paste it right here and hit enter, okay? So, now our autogen environment is active. So first of all, it was base and now you can see here it's autogen, which means that our environment is active and we are ready to go. Now, next thing what we need to do, we simply need to install autogen studio. For that, I could say like pip install autogen studio, okay? It's that simple. You don't need to download anything. You can simply pip install it to use and run this thing, okay? So I would simply hit enter all right, so it's successfully installed, you can see right over here, okay? So now to use the OpenAI models and other stuff, what we need to do, we just simply need our OpenAI API key, okay? For that, I simply need to go to like platform.openai.com forward slash playground. Simply need to log in with my Google account. Make sure that you have the subscription for like OpenAI's API key. That would be really useful for using Autogen, okay? So here I am inside of my playground and here I need to go to like API keys, okay? And I need to create a new secret key. I would call it as Autogen, okay? And click on like create secret key. So here's my API key. I'll simply copy this API key, come back to my terminal once again. Here what I'll do, I'll simply give it a command like set, okay? And if you're using Mac, you need to type in like export. But for Windows, it's set open AI underscore API underscore key and that would be equals to our API key, okay? Then I'll simply hit enter and now my API key has successfully been set. So now what I need to do, I simply need to run the Autogen UI. So I'll say Autogen UI dash dash port and that would be 8081, okay? If your port is like busy for some reason, you could specify another port like 8082, 8083, but for now 8081 is fine, okay? So I'll simply hit enter. Oops, there's an error, okay? I guess it's Autogen Studio, okay? Yeah, Autogen Studio UI dash dash port 8081. So I'll hit enter. So it will probably spin up the server for me and it might take a while. So, all right, it just gave me this URL you can see right over here. I will simply copy this URL, come to my browser and paste my URL in right here. So you can see right over here that our autogen is working successfully. So this is how the UI looks like, okay? So we have like a playground, then we have a gallery, and then we have a build section, okay? in which we can build skills, models, agents, and workflows, okay? We'll explain these in a while. Now, you have successfully created a virtual environment in which you have installed like Autogen and it's working successfully. So congratulations, okay? You can also switch to dark mode if you want. I guess dark mode is fine for now, okay? All right, so here are the few things that you should do to like improve your experience, okay? So first of all, it says like Autogen requires Python version greater than or equals to 3.8 and less than 3.13, okay? So now if you just scroll down, so you can see right over here that it says like even if you install Autogen locally, we highly recommend using Docker for code execution, okay? So you need to actually install Docker as well to uh, like run it smoothly and efficiently, okay? 
So now what I can do, I can simply like shut down this server from here by hitting control C, okay. Then I could simply say like pip install docker, okay, as it's recommended by Microsoft and it's installed, you can see right over here. So now I simply need to run this once again, okay. Yeah, it's live. Uh, let me just try to refresh it. Yeah, it's here. You can see right over here, okay. So now let me just give you the feature overview, like what it can actually do, okay? So it's basically kind of a web page in which you can do all sorts of things, okay? You can make teams that could work together and make your work like a lot easier, okay? So there are three tabs here like build, playground, and gallery, okay? We could create skills, models, agents, and workflows inside of like build tab, okay? Like skills, Skills, basically, these are the Python function that agents can use to solve, like, different tasks. If you go to models, okay, you could create model configurations that can be reused in your agents and workflows, okay? Like, there are Azure AI model configuration, then open AI model configuration, and then you can also use, like, a local model example with VLLM server endpoint. You can see right over here that you can also use, like, the file 7b from bloke okay then we have agents you could configure an agent that can be reused in your agent workflow then there are workflows you could configure an agent workflow that can be used to handle like multiple or different tasks so these are the four things in the build tab okay so you can see that they have like by default three workflows like travel agent group chat workflow then there is like general agent workflow which is like used a lot and general purpose tasks okay then you have like visualization agent workflow like it's used for visualization tasks okay so like they are really great you could also create new workflows as well okay so all right now let's talk about like skills so skills are basically functions that can do anything okay so if you like see this skill which says like find papers underscore archive. So archive basically is like a resource which has like multiple research papers. So you can find papers like from there, okay? So if you just open this up, so it would have like a script, okay? So it's basically like pre-coded for you, okay? So if you just move on to like fetch profile, what does it do? It basically like fetches the content from a personal website. So that's really great. Then what you can do, you can just create a skill for like anything. Like suppose if you just want to create a text-to-speech capability. So what you need to do, you just need to like have an API, for instance, like for 11 Labs or some other tool like Whisper. And what it will do, it will just simply try to convert that text into speech. Then you need to code like uh, a skill for that particular use case, okay? So now then we have like a playground where we can like create different like sections, okay? and to interact with the application, okay? So that's pretty much uh, it for the features overview, okay? So, all right, so now let's try to see how to use this particular application. Suppose I just click on like new, okay? Then you need to actually select an agent workflow to begin, okay? You have all workflows here, or you could simply scroll down. So for now, I could simply like pick general agent workflow, that would be fine, and then click on like create, okay? So here is my session. You can see right over here. It's pretty much uh, similar to like what you see inside of like ChatGPT UI. So it's looking like really cool. So you can see right over here that uh, they have given you like several examples like stock price in which you could like compare Apple versus Microsoft, something like that. Then we have sine wave, markdown and paint as well uh, where you could like simply paint different images, okay? All right, so if we just try to give you an example of like paint, if I just click on like paint, all right, so you can see right over here that I'm getting an error, like error occurred while processing message, API key is not present in LLM config or open AI key environment variable for agent primary assistant, okay? Update your workflow to provide an API key to use the LLM. Let me just grab my API key once again. So I would just go to like build tab, okay? So inside of models, if I just click on this thing, I need to provide in my API key right here. Then I need to simply save this, okay? To resolve this error, what you need to do, you just simply need to go to your workflows and inside of like general agent workflow, 
where you have like the primary assistant, okay? This one is the user proxy. We don't need to change it. Instead of primary assistant and inside of like system message, what you need to do, you just need to write in this line at the end, set open AI underscore API underscore key. That would be equals to your API key, okay? Click on okay. And if you just go back to like playground and now if you just try to click on like paint, now you can see that I'm not getting that error. Okay, let's see whether it will generate the stuff or not. Okay, all right. So you can see here that I just like ran into an error of like, you know, the rate limit of Dolly 3. Okay, because I am on the free tier account. If I just show you in the settings and if I just go to limit. So I am on the free tier account and it has the limit for like Dolly 3 image generation. So that's why it wasn't painting the images. So then I just gave it a prompt like write a blog on effects of generative AI. So it just provided me with the response. Okay. User proxy agent just like said to the primary assistant like write a blog on generative AI and primary assistant like came back with a response in this particular way. Okay. All right. So if you want to like implement like more use cases, so what you can do, there is a GPT for that purpose. Okay. So if we just show you, this is like auto gen builder. It's like great. It says like, I will transform your ideas into as many agents as required. Okay. All right. So I said it like I want an application in which I can provide a YouTube link and it can transcribe and then can write an article on that. And I'm saying that help me create skills, models, agents and workflows for that. Let's see what it will respond in this particular scenario. So all right. It just gave me an overview like what I need to do in this particular scenario. Okay. So let's just try to like implement this thing. All right, so first of all, I need to create a skill, okay? So here is a skill which I know is working like fetch profile. So what I'll do, I'll simply can grab this code, okay? Then I can come back to like chat GPT. I could like give it this code, okay? So I could say like here is an example script. Make something similar, but instead make it accept a YouTube URL as a parameter. It should go and get the transcript from the URL via YouTube API and then return the transcript, okay? I said like, make sure to hit the YouTube API directly. I don't want to use Google Cloud method, okay? So let's see how it will perform in this particular scenario. It provided me with the same, okay? It says like your YouTube API key should go in here, okay? So I don't want that. So I could say like, I don't want to enter API key, use the method that uses YouTube API directly, okay? Let's see. Yeah, I actually want this method, which actually installs like YouTube transcript API. So it just gave me the code. Okay. So I'll simply copy this code and come back to my auto gen. Okay. And I will simply create a new skill and I will call it as YouTube underscore transcription and I'll paste my code in right here. Okay. And then I'll simply click on like save. Okay, here you can see that my skill is here. Okay, so now we already have our model set up with our API key. We also have like skill ready. Now we need to go to like agents. Okay, so now I need actually two agents. Okay, first agent, what it will go, it will take in like the URL of a YouTube video and bring back the transcript. Okay, another one will take in that transcript and convert into an article for me. Okay, so I'll create a new agent which would be like transcript extractor, okay? The description would be like, take the YouTube URL and like returns back the transcript, okay? Max consecutive auto reply will be like default. Human input mode would be like never, that's fine. So inside of system message, what we can say, let me just uh, click on okay and see what I call my skill. That's actually YouTube underscore transcription, okay? So I'll come back to my agent. And I will say like, you are an AI agent that uses YouTube underscore transcription skill to get YouTube transcript for further processing, okay? So you will be using this model. If you want to add another, you can do that as well, okay? So here we need to add our skill, which is like YouTube transcription, okay? Then click on like add skill and my skill is added here, okay? So now we have like a transcript extractor agent ready, okay? 
So now we actually need another agent. So I will call it as like article writer. Okay. So the description would be like take YouTube transcript and convert it into article. Okay. Max consecutive auto reply. It's fine. Human input mode would be fine as well. Never. So for system message, what I could say like you are an intelligent and skillful article writer who can convert raw YouTube transcripts into an amazing article okay and we do not need skill for this particular scenario and the model will be the same as before then i can simply click on okay now we have two agents transcript extractor and article writer okay so now if you go to like workflows now we can simply create a new workflow now we need to like choose group chat because we will have three agents okay first of all we'll have like the user proxy then the transcript extractor and then the article writer okay so if i just click on like workflow then group chat so here what we need to do so i could say like youtube url to article okay so the description would be like take a youtube url extracts the transcript of the video and then transform that transcript into an article okay a summary method last is fine sender would be user proxy that's pretty much okay receiver would be like group chat assistant but we need to fill in the details of that okay so inside of like group chat agents, so I'll simply get rid of both of these like primary assistants. Okay. And I'll add like transcript extractor and like the article writer. Okay. Name could be the same. That's fine. So now inside of like system message, what I can say, I can simply make like it more descriptive. Okay. Because here you want to like tell your uh, like workflow, like what to do. So I would say like you are a helpful assistant at coordinating a group of other assistants to solve a problem. The problem to solve is taking a YouTube URL. Okay. Make an assistant to use transcript extractor skill to extract the transcript from the YouTube video. Pass the transcript to an article writer. Have an article writer create an article based on that transcript. Okay. Then I guess we also need to like uh, add the open AI underscore API underscore key okay that we saw that it is actually necessary to do that okay i don't think we need to give it a skill because the agent already had the skill okay so i'll simply click like okay uh, just make sure that the group chat agents are correctly set up okay so again i'll simply click on okay so now our workflow is successfully being created all right so i think that should be it okay that should work let me just uh, close this session okay and i'll simply click on like new session and i'll take in like youtube url to article okay click on create now my session has successfully been created so all right i'm saying like take this youtube url okay this is like one of the videos of our channel use youtube transcription skill to get the transcript of the video and then create an article based on that transcript okay let me just try to send this thing all right so now it's working you can see right over here it's installing like youtube transcript api uh, everything is like automated okay so you don't need to worry much about that so all right you can see here that it just came back with a response okay so this was my youtube url if i just try to show you the uh, like video which is here like this was the youtube video like create an ai song and music video for free so no ai and dolly 3 and pika okay i just gave this uh, like prompt like take this youtube url and youtube transcription skill to get the transcript of the video okay and then create an article based on that transcript first of all you can see that it says like we have successfully retrieved the transcript. Now for step two, I'll convert the transcript into an article format. So creating an AI music step by step. First of all, it gives like genesis of AI song. Okay. And then crafting the visuals with AI, then animating the imagery, then editing and finalizing the video. And then this is the result okay so it's like really great so here is our complete article now with this tool like autogen the possibilities are endless so you just need to create the skills models agents and workflows to make this application like work on like endless possibilities okay so i hope you like this video and that marks the end of our this autogen studio tutorial so i shall catch you up in some other great amazing tutorials so subscribe to our channel and make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss any update from our channel. Alright, take care. Good day. Bye.